One of the people who's fundamental to the coaching programs that we're trying to implement in our club is two-time Olympic and World Cup coach Larry McIntosh. And Larry's going to give us a masterclass in drag clicking. Uh, we're going to have a look at the skill of drag clicking and the key points that I'll be looking at tonight would be the hand grip on the stick, the positioning in relation to the ball, the approach to the ball, the foot placement just outside the circle, the collection of the ball, obviously the, the carry through the uh, movement and the release of the ball and the follow through. Okay, well first we're just looking at the hand positions on the stick and what I'll be looking at here would be have these both hands working together and it's this sort of grip here, hands reasonably close together. If they get too wide, it's harder to work. You have your hands together and you can't generate the power. Too close, you don't have the, the control of the stick. So it's about that positioning there. Top hand as high as possible on the stick, one, two as a guide. If you're working it like that, you feel that you can generate power with both hands working together. Okay, so the next point is the snap, what they call the snap. This, this has to work like that. It has to be a movement like that. So if you feel that you have really good control and strength of that, your hand position is in, in a very good position of strength. Okay, we're moving forward very quickly to highlight the importance of the hands. We're to the crossover point when we're collecting the ball. And our hands need to be in that position so that we can do that. Okay, so you can see that. You can see that movement there going back. And as you collect that, you start to come forward and these levers work that way. On the, on the point of contact, in this position here, and as you go past, you need to have your hands in that position. If they're too far down, you lose control of the stick. Here enables you to, to move here. The stick is important, this angle here. It is square to the ball, it is not forward. So that's why you have to have this hand pushing back. This left hand pushes back that way to get the stick square. And as you carry the ball forward to release it, then that starts, you, you, you're carrying it and you're releasing that way. And then this elbow, what we call coupling is relaxed, it's pushing back and then you're coming, you're carrying the ball forward in this position and then you start to find the levers in this position to be able to generate. And this shoulder comes into play and you're pushing forward to release. So from that position it's back here, square, carrying into this position, carry through and releasing. I don't have a preference how you approach the ball here, but you have to look, starting with your left foot, left, right, left. And the left foot cannot be inside the circle. It's outside the circle. It's left, right, left. And you need to have your left foot outside the line so that the collection of the ball is outside and you're carrying it into the circle. I would encourage the foot to stay outside the circle. Your left foot, stick on ball, and then you're in a position to take the ball directly towards goal. If I'm too close to the ball and I take the ball, I will, fly, I will fall away from the ball and I will pull it away and I've had to make room to flick. You can be on a slight angle, some will come in at this angle, some will come in at this angle. But it's coming directly to the ball, so it's left, right, left, and the ball is taken down the line. You can see it going directly towards goal. Once we come to the ball, highlighting the left foot outside the circle, and there's a, there's a couple of ways. There can be a, a, a touch, as we call a touch here, as we take the next step and collect the ball. There can be a movement just behind, left foot behind, as we collect the ball and move forward. This highlights the distance of stride is governed by the length Length, uh, length of an athlete. So my stride would be into this position, about that distance, and you're starting to look at this angle. This left foot needs to be open towards the target, not closed. If it's closed, you carry the ball and you are rotating on a knee that is locked, knee injuries, and there is no rotation. You cannot rotate our upper body because we're locked here. So this foot, has to be open as we carry, and then that allows us to move further forward. This right foot, it needs to be open and slightly on the ball to your foot so you can push through. It cannot be closed this way because you'll carry and it'll be just a rock. You'll end up going like that. So we're trying to get to this position, carrying it, this foot in this position, and we're powering through here with our right hip and right leg drive, and we're rotating through, and then we start to get this rotation and when we can rotate to that point from a coaching point and we see our right shoulder facing towards the goal there's a very good upper body 
rotation in that position. So you are generating maximum forces. So I'd like to highlight ball position here, somewhere about here, is, is quite good for, for, for what I'm looking at. And we're staying tall. We stay tall here and we're collecting the ball. This angle of the stick is probably about 80, 80 to 5 degrees. And we're in a position to carry from here. To identify where the left foot needs to be placed, as an example, it could be 10 or 11 inches, thereabouts. But to support that, what you are looking at from a coaching point of view is coming in in the stick positioning here. This angle here, looking at about 80, 85 degrees. And the reason for that, as we take the ball forward, it brings this carry forward with his elbow in this position. And we're carrying through and we're generating. We're getting this elbow drive through here with our right hip, with our right foot being released. And if I move away from the ball, a wider position, we see very quickly things change. We don't have the power here because it is a push this way. My elbow is away, it's a shoulder push versus this push. To generate the power, you just said then that you felt that you needed to generate more power. If you just put your arm in this position with your right hand, I think the, this out, is out here a little bit, so it sure. sort of seems to be more of a, a push that way. Yeah, this, yeah, the second one that you pushed, I thought you had more elevation and you were able to get the ball there and the height of the ball usually indicates reasonable power that you're in a position to get it up versus here, the one that you flick, flick flat, it's hard to get the face of the stick up because you're, you're away from your body. Yeah. In here, it's much easier because you're in a generating position. So this foot position, highlighting, so where you're putting your left foot, maybe just go one step further and you'll find yourself collecting in this position and then you go down in that position. Yeah. Yep. Stay, stay straight stick or do you mean to get lower? No, stay there. And you're leaning back a little bit. Okay. Here's... You don't want to roll down the stick? Yes, you'll, you'll, it'll come down the stick because you're taking the ball through here, then you're in that lower position okay, so and, it, and it'll happen. Yep. yep. But the collection a little higher. How did that feel? Okay, I feel like I got quite low. Um, I was sorry, higher the second time. Um, because of the pickups closer. Yep. Um, I felt like I got more power because the roll didn't go so high. Yes. Um, yep. I'm also picking the ball up and moving, rather than using my feet to get low, I'm using the stick and probably more my arms. Yeah, yeah very good point. I just want you to bend over because the key point you just mentioned there was staying high. And I want to speak about the two points. When you were high on the last flick was very good, but I want to speak about when you're low. So just go low, take one step forward and low. Okay, so what we find here now is that it's very difficult to bring the stick forward, bring it forward and generate power because you're low, too low. Ball, stick goes forward and you're flicking from a low position. Right foot, turned, so you're pushing and the one that you flicked high, you were closer to the ball, come back now and be in that higher position Concentrate on the right foot being in a position to push and you'll be in a higher position of collection and the follow through will be much better. Yeah. What, uh, what I'm pleased with there, uh, Bill is getting the, getting the height uh, just under the crossbar, but he has a different approach to the ball. His um, right foot is going in front of his left foot, which is quite acceptable, but it's different to what I'd mentioned. So I talked about subtly behind the touch and you can step in front as well. So the, the left foot position here now is slightly different because Billy's got his right foot coming forward, so that's going to go back a little bit for him to make room, but you will see his right foot will be closer to the ball as it passes. So this distance again, whether it's the left foot or the right foot, is the same. Building on from the um, approach to the ball and the collection, we're looking at the carry of the ball. The distance is determined by the stride length 
and calf and knee about 90 degree. Left foot is open, right foot is pushing through, activating the right hip. And we're looking at the rotation of the body and where we are ending up with an upper body trunk rotation. Okay, very good here. Left foot in good position. The crossover from behind, stick facing square to the ball. We're looking at the carry and the follow through, please, Ed. This foot here, problem is, yes, as that move, as, we, as the tra weight transfers from right hip to left hip, we need to be able to activate this hip. So just mindful of this right foot being turned, carry and release, and one more, and we're looking at the rotation. So generating more power now, please. End position is good. Right shoulder is facing the target. And this elbow followed through, highlights the rotation through here. But we've ended up in a situation, upper body has turned, but right foot is here. So if we can get that foot supporting the rotation as well to there, because then that picture gives me an indication of upper body rotation linked with lower body rotation as well. And that's a very good finishing position which would highlight generating maximum forces upper and lower body. Good collection here, left foot's just outside the circle. Good collection, line of ball, direct to goal, and generating good forces. Standing here to just um, challenge the, the collection of the ball, and the reason being, sometimes the ball can be pulled here or pulled there. We're having a direct approach to the ball, square collection, and I'm standing here so it's encouraging or challenging to drag the ball straight, which keeps you taller. That was good. The one before you said you felt a little bit compact, but that, that was good. You approached the ball, your collection and your power was good. Talk me through it. What was different? Um, just felt a bit smooth. I could feel the ball come up the stick and I just felt like I had momentum coming forwards as well. I wasn't down too early. I just felt pretty good and natural. So what was different there, you, you stayed taller on the collection yeah. and just lowering the stick versus the body yeah. to get the ball up the shaft. And also drag the ball straight as opposed to on an angle. Yeah. It made a difference as well. The summary of, uh, of the drag clicking skill uh, is certainly the starting point, uh, approach to the ball, um, more of a direct approach. Uh, the left foot needs to be outside the circle, assist the ball collection, square face stick on the ball as you collect it. The crossover can be behind, touch or slightly in front, which we have seen as well, so there's three types there. A collection of the ball needs to be towards goal, not on the angles. Very important to take it down the line. And then the stride length uh, is governed by the uh, ankle and knee, calf and quad at about 90 degrees. And the right foot needs to be in a position on the ball of the foot to power through to activate the right hip, which is generating the lower body to generate. And then obviously we've seen some very good examples of rotation and follow through uh, and obviously increase power with the athletes tonight.